the dream I know Deep up my feelings for you the headlines caught fires yayabelu 500 million for breach of ajaka's right but before we proceed with this news welcome to reality letters this your home of news and politics thank you all so much for joining us on today's news if this is your first time of watching please do us if you want to like and subscribe and also share don't forget to turn the notification bell to get notified when there's we drop a video because i'm sure you don't want to miss out the trend and latest news happening on social media to all our amazing subscribers thank you all so much for staying tuned to all our viewers feel relaxed enjoy and stay connected the federal high court in abuja on thursday awarded a 500 million in damage against Governor Yaya Belu of Kogi State for violating the fundamental right of Motala Ajaka, the Social Democratic Party SDP's candidate in the November 11 governorship election in the states. Justice in Yangeko, in a judgment, also directed Governor Belu to tender public apology to Ajaka for the gross and unwarranted violation of his rights. Justice Eko equally made an order directing the security agencies and their heads, listed as second to seventh respondent, to provide maximum security and ensure Ajaka's safety, including his property within Abuja, Kogi, and Nigeria before, during, and after the governorship poll held November 11. The judge further made an order of injunction restraining the security agencies from arresting or abducting, detaining, and or further harassing, intimidating, shooting, or threatening the applicant's life and properties. You can recall that Mr. Jacker had in the originated motion marked FHC slash ABJ slash CS slash 952 slash 2023 dated and filed on July 11 by S. A. Arowa San sought protection from the courts. The SDP candidate sued Mr. Bello, Nigeria Police Force, IG Kogis, Commissioner of Police, Department of State Service, DSS, DSS DG as first to six respondents respectively. The applicant also joined Director of DSS Commanding Kogi, Commandant General, Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corps, Chief of Defense Staff, Chief of Army Staff, and Chief of Naval Staff as 7 to 11 respondents in the case. Ajaka families believe that as soon as the originated process for the enforcement of his fundamental rights were served on the respondent, they would intensify efforts, a bit illegally, to force him to Kogi to be killed. He said prior to this time that he had contested in the Kogi governorship primary election under the All Progressive Congress APC. Ajaka Avadat, to dissuade him from contesting the APC primary, the governor, who had announced his cousin brother, Aja Usman Ododo, as his successor, pointedly demanded he step down. That Belu Foda accompanied his demand with threat to taking his life on failure of compliance. He alleged that the applicant said, in view of the foregoing, that he sought audience with then President Mohamed Buhari, where he intimidates him of this threat with a request for intervention and protection. The president, in his response, then requested that the applicant make a formal report to his official and relevant security agencies, which Ajaka did. And he further alleged that Belo's scheme became unwedded when he, Ajaka, moved into the SDP and secured the party's tickets as the governorship candidate for the November 11 poll. That after leaving the APC for the SDP, the applicant was still being threatened, that is Ajaka, by the overt and covert act of the first respondent, Belo Yaya. That the first respondent co-opt the second to eleventh respondent in threatening the right to life, liberty and association of the applicant, Ajaka alleged. Ajaka also alleged that on June third, he left Abuja to pay courtesy visit to Ohimeje of Koto at Konta Karifi. Ajaka said that as soon as he departed and was heading to Lokoja to pay a courtesy call at the palace of the Magari of Lokoja, then the vehicle he was traveling in with was hit with hail of bullets in an unprovoked attack against him and his supporters. 
that in the midst of the confession, the vehicle of the applicant, Ajaka, was traveling inwards, overtaken by a vehicle with the insignia of the government blocked the expressway. And then the first responded, Belo Yaya, physically highlighted from the vehicle while ordering the men of the second and fifth responded, that is police and SSS, to again open fire on the vehicle of the applicant, Ajaka, and his motorcade. That several vehicles belong to the applicant, Ajaka, and his supporters were riddled with bullets and demolized. Two other vehicles branded with the applicant party, Social Democratic Party, that is Ajaka, logo were set ablaze by the men of the second and fifth responded on the direct order of the first responded, Yaya Bello. Not only that, Ajaka alleged that the deliberate attempt at assassinating him was made under the direct supervision of the governor who urged the court to grant his relief in the interest of justice. Governor Bello, in his preliminary objection, sought an order striking out the suit for one for jurisdiction and another order setting aside the earlier order of the court made on July 13 for want of jurisdiction. Given eight runs for the objection, he said that Jaka had filed the action against him, a sitting governor of Kogi, and he argued that the applicant did not sue him in his official capacity as the attorney general of Kogi was not a party to the suit. Besides that, Yayabelu argued that the alleged breach of Ajaka's fundamental rights and all facts constituting the breach as per his affidavit in support of the originating motion occurred in Kogi, hence the suit was incompetent among others. The governor also disagreed with Ajaka's that he, Ajaka, was an aspirant in the APC primary poll. Bello submitted that there was an existing court order bearing Ajakas from participating in the said primary election. He said he had neither dissuaded the SDP candidate Ajaka from contesting the APC governorship primary election, nor did he at any time pointedly demanded that he stepped down as he was ineligible to even contest the said primary election. Bello equally denied issuing any threat against Ajaka to take his life for failure to comply with anything whatsoever. The governor, Yaya Bello, who denied anointing any successor, said Ododo contested the APC primary poll and won on his own merits. He said that the second to 11th respondents are of federal agency and not under his command and control. Thus, he could not have co-opted them to threaten Ajaka's right to life liberty and association he alleged that ajaka in company of thugs and armed military men attacked and obstructed his convoy along the abuja kogi expressway which prompted officer and men of the second to fifth responded to repel the attack from the criminals Bello said all through the episode he never alighted from his vehicle neither did he order any person to open fire on either ajaka's vehicle or any vehicle whatsoever as the officer of the relevant security agency attached to his convoy were charged with his security and carried out their duties within the ambit of the law delivering the judgment justice Eko said he found that none of the governor's government in the entire affidavit was specific in other words they are merely general advertisement. Furthermore, none of the government specifically mentioned the incident of 3rd June 23 and provide a defense thereto. He heard that Bello counter affidavit was so feeble and had failed to effectively challenge Ajaka's case. So it is also the law that affidavit evidence which is not challenged or controverted is deemed admitted and can be relied upon by a court. The judge also found that the accounts of what transpired on June 3rd by the governor aid the camp, ADC, DSP, Iwanga Ifoma Akaya was in conflict with the account of SP Elvis, who was also at the scene. And it is not hard to see that the first responder was acting clever when he sent his aide de camp to make a report to the same police that acted in concert with him at the scene of the shooting after preventing the applicant Ajaka from entering Lokoja. 
The judge declared that the unprovoked shooting at Ajaka, his car and his supporters by armed officers of 2nd to 7th responded on June 3rd was reprehensibly and a gross violation of his right to life and dignity of his human person. Honestly, I like the truthful judgment that was carried out on Ajaka's case. <laughs> Yaya Bello thought he would do away with this, but no, 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 no. <laughs> A more hand on me talk. So, guys, let me know your thoughts, your contributions, your opinions are in the comment section. We'd love to hear from you. Once again, thank you all so much for staying to with us. We really do appreciate it.